They have fixed one of the major issues with DaVinci Resolve and no one is saying anything. If you have DaVinci Resolve and you use Windows, this is of interest to you. Up until now, when we rendered a video in the MP4 format on Windows, it only allowed us to export the audio at a byte rate of 192 kilobits per second. To put it plainly, very, very low quality. Why bother editing and taking care of the quality of your videos if the audio is going to sound like And here's the reason for this video. It took them 18 years to fix it. But finally, DaVinci Resolve allows us to export video audio in MP4 with higher quality on Windows. It lets us go up to 320 kilobits per second, which is now an acceptable quality and not what we had before. Still, if you want the best sound quality, you can always render your video in QuickTime format and H264 codec. It's a format similar to MP4, but it allows us to export audio in more codecs. If you want the audio to sound exactly like the original audio, I recommend selecting the codec Linear PCM, as it's an uncompressed audio format. In the sampling rate, we can select the same as the project, and in bit depth, 16 is more than enough in most cases. Although personally, QuickTime format gives me problems when trying to upload the video to Instagram, and the MP4 format works perfectly for me. And that's it. I wanted to bring you the good news for those of you who use DaVinci Resolve on Windows. Now I'm working on the tutorial on how to do the eye transition in DaVinci Resolve, which many of you have asked me for. I'll be posting it on the channel members in the coming weeks. And that's all. It's been an express video. See you in the next one.